Hi, this is Eric, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, right down there is a subscribe button. Click that, subscribe with us. We would love to have you along for the journey. Hi everybody, my name is Dilshad, I'm 41 years old, I'm a single mother of three, I reign from Johannesburg, South Africa, and this is just a small note to let you know that you don't have to be alone in whatever it is that you're going through. I suffer from a mental illness. I've had it for six and a half years and I've had three relapses but by the mercy of God I am on my feet again and I'm trying. Uh, what makes me happy is music. I love music especially when I'm feeling down. Uh, I enjoy dancing as well. Uh, I love reading. It also takes my mind off a lot of things. Um, and I don't have any favorite singers at the moment. I have various songs, specifically old school, that I enjoy listening to. I have one special friend that I talk to when things go wrong, and that's Caprice. Um, uh, the only child of mine who also listens to all my babbling is Taba. And she's 10 years old. She's also very aware of my illness and very aware of the medication that I need to take, when I need to take it, and how I need to take it. Um, my favorite food I guess it would be junk food that makes me feel better. When I'm really down, I want to shop. I hate that because there's never any money to shop. But that somehow makes me feel better. And yeah, that's what I have to say to you. You never have to be alone. There's always somebody out there that you can reach your hand out to. Please do that. Note that there are people who care and that who are there for you. Thank you. And Dilshad, I just want to know from you, how important is it that you discuss your mental illness with your children? For me, it's very important because when initially I became ill, I needed to explain to them certain triggers that occur when they do things um, that actually changes my mood uh, and I needed them to be aware of it so that they try not to do things like that and also the fact that my medication is off limits not for them to touch not for them to take under no circumstances because they are specifically for my illness and are your children accepting of your your mental illness Initially, no, they didn't. Uh, they were much younger because, like I say, this happened seven years ago. They couldn't understand very well. Uh, but now, with the years that have changed, they have accepted it. They understand it better. Um, and you speak openly with them? I speak openly with them. I tell them that when I get to a certain point when I never had medication a few months ago, that... I might land up in hospital again and that would mean I'd be away from them for three weeks and they would change their attitude, change their whole, their whole order about things and try and assist me to cope with things. So for me it's very important that it be discussed with them and like I said they were a very young age, I think Teva was four years old, you shouldn't 
shy away from it. When it comes to your family or your kids, you should be proud of the fact that you have this because it's something that's not going to go away at all. And I would tell anybody and everybody that I have a mental illness and if you have a stigma against it, that's your opinion, but this is who I am. This is how God made me and I love who I am. Thank you so much, Dee, for participating in the interview with Driven Industries. I really appreciate it. Bye, everybody. Hi, my name is Vidal Hassan. Um, I'm from Joburg. Um, <laughs> um, things that make me happy. Uh, I listen to music. Uh, we're still is quiet. I would, um, I tried. I go swimming. I would talk to someone. That makes me happy. Like my friends. And what I'll do with my friends will, 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 will we, we do everything together. We work together, we listen to music together, we watch movies together. What are the kind of things that you listen to? Who do you listen to with your friends that makes you happy? Um, what kind of music do you listen to? Who's your favorite artist? Oh, I don't have a favorite. Is there a specific song that you listen to? That when you're feeling down makes you happy? No. No. And do you speak to anybody when you are upset? Why not? Do you not feel comfortable speaking to people about how you feel? Yes. Why is that? I can't say. Do you feel embarrassed? Do you feel ashamed? Embarrassed. Or do you think people are going to judge you for how you feel? Yes. Do you have one person in your life that you can speak to that you know won't judge you? My aunt. Your aunt. Do you ever speak to her? Yeah. And does she give you good advice? Mm -hmm. What kind of things do your friends do, you and your friends, as you go out and have fun? What kind of activities do you do? We go watch a movie. We play soccer together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else do we do? What's your favorite movie that you've seen so far with them? Um, it. It. <laughs> the horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> so you enjoy horror movies. Okay. Do you have a favorite food? Anything that you eat that you really enjoy that makes you feel better when you're not having such a good day? A burger. A burger. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. Well, thank you very much for participating in the interview for Driven Industries. Okay, so tell me what your names are and how old you are. I'm Nishat and I'm 12 years old in grade 6. My name is Tabor, and I am nine years old, and I'm in grade four. And where do you come from? South Africa. Which province do you live in? Gauteng. 
What area do you stay in? Primrose. Primrose. What school do you go to? Primrose Hill. So I want to know. What makes you happy? What are the things that you do individually that makes you happy? And what are the things you do together that make you happy? The things I do separate that makes me happy is listen to music and play on my phone. And the things we do together that makes me happy is go out as a family and eating ice cream together. What music do you listen to? Who are your favorite artists? Go, go! Okay, you want to do it loud? No, you have to. Nicki Minaj and Ariana Grande. And yours, Taylor? I like listening to music on my phone or mommy's phone. And what I like doing together is going out and eating out. And what I like doing with me shot is I like swimming. And yeah. Do you like to swim all year round? Yeah. Even when it's freezing cold? Yeah. And what happens when you're feeling sad? When I feel sad, I go to the bathroom. What do you do when you go to the bathroom? I cry. Mm -hmm. I just sit there. Or I take a bath. And does bathing help you relax? Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite flavors of ice cream that make you happy? Mine is chocolate and strawberry. Chocolate, vanilla, and caramel. And what do you do with your families that makes you happy? Birthday parties, outings. What's your favorite outing that you've been on so far? My We went to Chevy Lane for my birthday, and that was very nice. I like going out with my grandfather, and I like celebrating birthday parties and having something small with my cousins when we play and when we went out we went to kids fun house and we played and after that we went to McDonald's and we ate. <laughs> Do you like McDonald's? Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite meal at McDonald's? Mine? Big Mac and Kitty's Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I like the kiddies meals because it comes with a toy, and I like toys. <laughs> and when you're feeling sad, do you speak to anybody? No. Why not? Because I don't feel right speaking to people about myself. Why not? I don't feel right speaking to them. I feel like I'm not being straight or right speaking to another person. I talk to myself. And you, Taba? When I'm sad, I talk to mommy, and mommy says that I mustn't be sad. And do, does your mommy discuss things with you on how you can be happy yes. and give you good advice? Yes. That's good. Nikki? I don't really listen. You don't listen? No. Because you don't want to listen? No. <laughs> Do you prefer keeping everything inside? Yeah. Why? Do you feel embarrassed? No. I just don't like sharing my stuff with other people. Because they tell everybody about it. But do you have one person that you know you can go to that you can share your stuff with that will be secret? Yeah. Who's that person? She's my friend at school, Lulu. Mm. Mm -hmm. And she listened to you? Yeah. Does she give you good advice? No. <laughs>
<laughs> Does she not give you good advice? No. She just tells me her problems, that's her life. my problems, and I always sort out her problems. But I don't need her help to sort out mine. Mm. Okay. Okay, girls. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Is there anything else you want to tell me about being happy? Does that make you feel special? Yeah. Good. And what do you? Do, what games do you play on your phone that help you feel better? Princess Subway Runner, and sometimes Minecraft. Minecraft. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. It makes me like plan my future sometimes. Because I get to build houses and stuff. And you have a very bright future for yourself? Yes. Good. I want to be a pediatrician, a doctor for children. Because every time I used to go to the hospital, so many children used to be so sick. And there wasn't enough doctors. So I want to become a pediatrician. And Taiba? Um, I, when I grow up, I want to be a teacher or a geographer. Why? Because teachers, you can teach children who have never been taught. You can teach them what's right and what's wrong. And the radiographer, so I can help people that have broken bones and broken things on the inside of the body. Yeah, you can almost make them whole again. Thank you, girls. I really appreciate it. And thank you for supporting Driven Industries. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.